Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to download the BMC library, how to do the boards.txt mod, and how to upload your first sketch. The first step is going to be to install Arduino and Tinsiduino. If you already have Tinsiduino installed on your computer, then you can skip this step. First, we'll go to rockstar.com slash BMC. You can see the URL up here. And we'll start by going into GitHub to get the link to download Tinsiduino. We'll scroll down to installation. And you see the link here. Now I'm running macOS Catalina on this MacBook, so I'm going to use the Tinsiduino app. Normally, you have to install Arduino first, then you install the Tinsiduino add on. So, you'll find the instructions here on this page. Uh, in this case, I know where I'm going, so just download Tinsiduino and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so it's done downloading now. Let's open it. And again, since I'm running macOS Catalina, I can just download the Tinsiduino app and drag it directly into the applications folder. And that's it. Let's remove this guy here. Now let's open the app. Let's go to applications, find Tinsiduino. We'll click it. Say OK to that. And here's a blank sketch. Everything's good to go. We can close Tinsy Duino for now. We don't need it. Now let's download the library and close this. Again, we'll go back to GitHub. Uh, you can either download the library by doing Git, uh, a Git clone, or you can download it right here. Just go and download zip. Let's download it. Let's open it. And here's the folder. I'm zip. I'm going to rename it just BMC. I need it to say master. We can drag it now into documents, then Arduino, then libraries. I already had some libraries here, but we'll drop it here. You can see all the paths in the GitHub page. Um, now the next step is going to be we'll go into the BMC folder, we'll access the boards-txt-mod.txt file and we'll open it. Now all this text that you see here we're going to copy it. You can do a select all and copy. Okay we can close this file now. Now the next step is we're going to modify the boards that text file on your Arduino installation. So if you're on Mac, if you're not using the Tinsiduino app, you're using Arduino and you install the Arduino, uh, the Tinsiduino add-on, then you got to find the Arduino app. Or in my case, since I'm using Tinsiduino, I'm going to do a right click on Tinsiduino and go to show package contents. Now the path for this is also on the GitHub repository. So in this case, it's contents, Java, hardware, Tinsy, AVR, and here it is, boards.txt. We'll open this file with a plain text editor and we'll scroll to the very bottom of the file. And here we are. Now we'll paste the text that we copied before and we'll save the file. You may need administrator privileges to do this modification on your computer, um, but it's pretty straightforward. Now that this is done, what this is going to do is this is going to add a new menu option on Tinsiduino that's going to allow you to select whether you're in, uh, uploading a sketch 
that uses PMC. And by doing that, the Arduino or Tinsy Duino app will include a config.h file that must be present in your sketch folder. We'll take a look at that in a second. But now that this is done again, we'll save and close this. Now we're done with everything we needed to do and we can open Tinsy Duino. Now we're running Tinsy Duino. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go to File, Examples, and look for BMC. And we'll use the first BMC sketch example. Here it is. And close this. Next, we'll go to Tools and select the board that we're going to upload to. In this case, I'm using a Tinsy 4.1. This is very important. BMC requires USB MIDI, so we have to select a USB type that has MIDI. In this case, you can go with MIDI, MIDI X4, MIDI X16, any of these types that have the word MIDI on it. I'm just going to go with the basics. I'm going with MIDI. Okay, you can change the speed. In this case, I'm going to change the speed to 150 megahertz since it consumes less current. And now the next step will be to check this option so this is if you're uploading a sketch with BMC if you're running a BMC sketch you have to set this option to yes okay if you're not uploading a sketch that uses BMC then you need to select no the reason for this is that when you set this option to yes there must be a file named config.h in the same folder as the sketch. Okay, the same folder that the .ino file is, and you have to have also a config.h file. Okay, now in this case, I don't have the board connected just yet, but let's connect it now. Let's double check that everything's proper. Again, I've Tinsy 4.1 and everything looks good. And here it is on the board. Select that board. And now we can upload. And there it is. We uploaded our first BMC sketch. Uh, we can also open the serial monitor. And actually, I'm going to re upload the sketch so that you can see um, that as you upload a sketch when BMC, BMC launches, you'll see some information. Here you can see that we're in debug mode. In debug mode, BMC will print out a bunch of information on the screen as things happen. Um, you can clear the output and you can also just hit the send button and it'll give you a note, uh, a list of commands that you can send or also type help. Same list of commands. Uh, in this case, for example, we'll just type in version so that we can see what version of BMC we're running. And here it is. You can also turn on MIDI in and it'll display, the serial monitor will display any incoming MIDI messages. MIDI out will display outgoing MIDI messages. Um, you just type MIDI in and hit send to turn it on and then type again MIDI in and send and it'll turn it off. And it'll always say what's going on. So for example, in this case, we'll type in MIDI in. Let's clear the output. One means that it's on, type it again, zero, it's off. Okay, so now we have a, a Tinsy running BMC. So let's go back to rockstar.com slash BMC and we'll open the editor. You have to do this with Google Chrome. It only works with Google Chrome. Okay, here it is, link, open BMC web editor.
and here we are. Um, the BMC editor is a PWA app or a progressive web app. Um, this means that you can install the app. All you have to do is hit the install button and the app will be accessible offline on this computer. Uh, also using a Google Chrome or a link gets created for you to uh, open the app directly. We're not going to do that right now. We're just going to take a look. Here it is, Tinsy MIDI. We'll select the input and the output. Device ID can be zero if this is your first time using it. And we'll hit connect. And here we are, BMC first sketch. The name of your device is passed as part of the config file maker. So in this case, the example has this already set up as the first sketch. We'll turn on, we'll double click the LED. This build only has one LED. Uh, in this case, for this example, it only has one LED and it uses uh, the built-in LED on your Tinsy. So we're going to set it up to BMC, BMC status. And BMC running means that the LED is going to blink or pulse every three seconds or so, uh, giving you an, an idea that BMC is running. Okay, it's this is a, an event that's specific just for testing or to make sure that your Tinsy hasn't crashed or anything like that. Your Tinsy isn't frozen. I use it usually during development, but you can use it if should you need it. So we'll hit save. And now my LED is pulsing every three seconds. You will also see the feedback here that the LED is pulsing. That's it. That's how easy it is to upload a sketch to install BMC and to set your options for BMC. Accessing the editor, everything's very straightforward and very simple. Uh, we're going to disconnect for now. And on the next video, we'll go over the config file maker, which is where you go in to specify what board you're using, what pins you're going to use, and so on. So I hope this helps, and I will have more videos coming up soon.